this is the best mentalism trick. Um, I would ask a spectator to um, name any card on the deck, but since I don't have a spectator, let's say the Nine of Spades. Okay, so here's how you to do the best mentalism trick. <clears throat> I would, it, oh, this trick this trick does require a rigged deck, which I will explain in a second. It's very complicated, so I'll have to do it one step at a time. Okay, so each card, they're put together like this, which I will explain how to, and they stick to each other throughout the deck. See, back to back, just like this. Back to back. Back to back. Okay. Throughout the deck, just like that. Then I would go through the deck and each of the cards are stuck together. So when I come across the key card, which I'll explain how to use in a second, when I come across the key card like this, and I will just slide the stuck card out like that. And I will just get your card. Okay, then you're gonna need to take, or you're gonna need to take your, or here's how to get the um, cards to stick together. I used hair gel. You can probably use just um, like double sided sticky tape. That'll work probably too. I got this at Marks for $2, or Walmart, you can probably get it there too. Okay, so once you got that, you're going to need to make sure you got every deck or card. I'm going to use a different deck because that one's already rigged. So you're going to make sure you have every card, so you're going to need to put them into four piles. Ace, club, um, diamond, and heart. That's not heart, wait. Diamond and heart, here we go. Now that you got all of them into four piles, you're going to need to take them and you're going to need to put them from um, in order from ace to king. So, like this. You're going to need to find the ace and then the two and the three and all the way to the king. See, that's all four piles. Okay, now that you got the deck in order, just to make sure you have every card, because you need a full deck for this trick. Then you're going to need to put them together. I'm going to show you how to use it with hair gel. You could probably use other things like maybe hairspray and, like I said, double-sided sticky tape. So then, I'm using, I'm going back to my rig deck, so you're going to have to get some um, hair gel on your hands. And then you're going to take the card and rub it on the back of the card. And you don't want to put a whole lot and just smear it together with another card. And just put it on those two cards like that. You're going to need to do this to the whole deck. This is very time consuming but more than worth it. This trick is very good especially for people that know how to do magic. They will be absolutely shocked by this trick. So you're going to need to do that to every card. I'm just going to give you a little bit of demonstration these couples couple cards and then you're going to need to let those cards sit and dry individually you're going to need to spread them out um face up you're going to need to let those cards sit for about uh i let them sit for overnight i don't know how many hours that would be though so you're going to let those need to sit for overnight 
And then you're going to need to put them on, and then after they dry, put them back to back again. So, and then put them underneath something heavy like a book. Okay, so now that you got all the, so now that you got um, all the cards stick, stickied up, you're going to need to, I'm, I'm using just a few cards, not the whole deck. You're going to need to get these two cards. This is just one example. You're going to have to do the whole deck like this. You're going to need, for example, five and eight of clubs and diamonds. Okay? So then, that would take the eight of diamonds is five away from 13. Okay? So, five away from 13, so that means that the other card would be a five. And the opposite of diamond would be club, and the opposite of hearts is spade. Hearts and spade, okay? So 8 plus 5 equals 13, okay? And then when you put them back to back, they'll stick together, and you're going to need to do this to the whole deck like this. You're going to have to find two numbers that equal 13. And you're going to have to get them opposite, like hearts and spades and clubs and diamonds. So, they're going to want to, yeah, do that. And one side is even, and one side will always be odd. So, you're going to want to, when you put them together, you're going to want to put odd up. So, I have the five like that. So, now I have a jack, and I have a two. A jack and a two of clubs and diamonds. So, jack would equal 11. So, plus two equals 13. So, yeah. Then I'm gonna ha then I have seven and six, seven of hearts, and the set and the six of spades. Those are opposite and one's odd and one's even. So I'll put the odd up like this. And I have an ace which is one and a queen which is twelve. And they're opposite and I would put those together too. And one is odd, so put that up. And then for king and king or for 13, king equals 13, but there's no zero. There's no zero card, so you would you have to put kings and kings together. These always get me. These are always really tricky. Not really tricky, but here's one more thing you have to add to your list of memorization for this trick. I do diamond is, um, or red cards are even. I do do black cards are odd. So... Then I would oh so then I would do it like that. So I have one side even and one side odd, and the cards stick together so you don't see the backs when you riffle through them like this. And if they don't stick, you're gonna need more um, tape or whatever sticky stuff you're using. So let's say they, so if they say um, the ace of spades, here look here's what I would do. Actually here I'll do it from the beginning look. I would have the cards in the deck. I'm doing a short deck, so this will be easier to understand. So I'll put those into the into the packaging, into the deck, cardboard box, whatever. And then I would ask them to say a card. So they said the ace, ace of spades, okay? And I would open it up on the even side. I have one side even and one side odd. You're going to have to remember which one is which. I always do odd facing out. I don't know why I didn't this time, but... Odd facing one way and even facing the other way. So they said the ace of spades. So that's odd. So I have to add the odd facing down. So I'd open it on the even side. So then I would look for my key card. So the opposite of an of one would be a twelve. And it's a spade, so I would look for the heart of spade or heart heart of queen. Or queen of hearts, I mean. I keep saying it wrong. So I look for the queen of hearts. And underneath the queen of hearts is their card. So I'll just peel it off. Don't do it too obviously. You want to do it more slick like so it doesn't look like they're all stuck together like that. And then that card is their card. And that's how you do the best mentalism card trick.